On this episode of Claire Trips, it's day six of my 20 day European road trip with my best friend, Justin. We're not big spenders, and most of our travel time is spent frugally pushing the limits of our sanity. But today we're splurging on one night in the most expensive hotel we've ever stayed in, the Bagni Vecchi Thermal Spa. The Bagni Vecchi and its sister hotel, the Bagni Nuovi, together create a relaxation haven unlike anything I've ever seen. But before we can dive into the most rejuvenating 16 hours of our lives, we have to brave the Stelvio Pass. This highway features some of the most terrifying roads I've ever had to stock up on Dramamine for. Our task of navigating the pass without killing someone was made even more challenging by motorcyclists who treated this highway like their personal playground. Warm pools overlooking a stunning valley in the Italian Alps were waiting for us on the other end of this monstrosity of a drive, but we couldn't rush it. When we finally made it to the hotel safely, we were thrilled to find that the spa was still open, basically empty, and we had a whole hour to explore before it shut down for the night. Spa vlog! I have a spa robe! They gave us flip-flops! They gave us flip-flops! See, there's a waterfall inside. Is that a thing? I bet. I bet you it's cold. But I, I saw people in it earlier. Well, I saw steam in all the pictures, so I bet it's warm. I don't know. We'll see. How do we get down there? Do you think we can still go? Oh wait! Not very well. This is the pool. Oh my gosh! This is the entrance to the freaking outdoor pool. <laughs> okay, hold on. Waterfall. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything this amazing in my life. I'm actually in heaven right now. <laughs> There's a button. Should we press the button? <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> There's Jen's and Justin's button. <laughs> oh, mine's so much better than yours. In that one, they have jet streams that like, you know, this one's a nice gentle massage. While that one is a very intense massage. I think I like that one better. <laughs> We're exploring. In true deep fashion, we're unsatisfied because the water's not hot enough. <laughs> You're not unsatisfied, you just prefer hotter water. <laughs> this is warm. This is nice and warm, but it's not. Yeah, this isn't like hot tub, but there's supposedly hot tubs outdoors, so that will happen tomorrow. Yeah, this is about the same temperature as that one. This so much nicer though because it's outside with fresh air and a pretty view. I think this one's my favorite with the waterfall one at the close set. Yes! We managed to stay in the pool long after closing, but there was still so much more to see the next day. Pretty morning. This whole place smells like lavender. Today we have one goal to try as many spa features of Bagni Vecchi and Bagni Novi as possible, starting with an unbelievable anti-stress massage and an exploration of the many saunas and cold baths at Bagni Vecchi. Hey Justin, come here. Woo! No, that's cold. It's freezing. Oh, for the sauna. So you get in the sauna and then you get in the cold tub after the sauna. I understand. It is hot in the saunas. 
I kind of object. Wait, so we've never even been to the medieval one. You're right, because nothing has felt that medieval quite yet. But we'll get there. Ah, ooh, and we need to find the hot tubs, remember? The very, very, very hot tubs. Bagni Vecchi is packed with history. The Baths of the Archduchess were originally built in the 1800s as a private retreat for members of the Royal House of Austria. I'm just chilling in the hot tub. On a cliff. <laughs> the Roman baths are carved inside a grotto where weary travelers have rested and bathed for over 2,000 years. This natural Turkish bath was originally dug in 1827. So I don't know what this bucket of ice is for. Are you supposed to ice yourself when you're done? this hotel for our splurge was because one night stay included full day spa entry to both spas the day we arrived and the day we left. The spas are only a five minute drive apart from one another and if you don't want to drive there's a shuttle bus that runs between them every hour. Spa number two! Just in case you aren't a fan of that one spa, you can go five minutes down the road to the other spot. <laughs> if you're hoping to retire anytime soon, this is a retirement home. It's next door to a spa. I could get behind that idea. There's your ice bucket. This was our first spa experience ever, and even though it was a big splurge for us, the value was absolutely fantastic. All in, the cost was $312 total, including the hotel room, spa entry, a massage, and breakfast. We didn't want this day to end, but we had to pack up and hit the road for more adventures in the Dolomites. If you have any suggestions for unique spa experiences we should try, please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to see upcoming episodes.